Star Trek First Contact, in which the Enterprise, commanded by Jean-Luc Picard, or Patrick Stewart, must travel back in time to the 21st century to save the world from being taken over by a frightful race called the Borg. These are not, as you might suppose, descendants of a Swedish tennis player, but a half-human, half-robotic race with a hive mentality and the motto, Assimilate and Conquer. Hope you followed all that. Anyway, at one time, if you can believe anything so awful, the frightful Borg had even tried to assimilate Picard himself and turn him into one of them. They failed, of course, but the Queen Borg, Alice Krieger, still has designs on Picard, though her main aim is to change history by sabotaging the human race's first ever warp speed space flight, the one that established initial contact with the world out there. Mind you, when you see the rackety old spaceship and the state of its designer and commander, James Cromwell, who could turn a breathalyzer puce simply by looking at it, you wouldn't bet on it leaving the ground, let alone travel faster than the speed of warp. However, that's the Star Trek mission, to boldly go and save Earth yet again, and spit infinitives be damned. But the job is not made easier by the Borg infiltrating the Enterprise and, as it were, constantly countering all Picard's desperate returns of serve with backhand winners and cunning lobs. This is all very enjoyable stuff, much better than Generations, the last Star Trek film. The director, making an impressive debut, was Jonathan Frakes, who doubles engagingly as the Enterprise's second officer. Incidentally, you might care to know that in Picard's day, the 24th century, the acquisition of wealth is no longer a human driving force. People don't even have money anymore, so that noise you hear is probably Margaret Thatcher turning in her grave four centuries hence. Anyway, Star Trek First Contact opens on Friday and daylight, Sylvester Stallone.